everybody, it's EB and you are watching Studio Q. You can find me at We Want EB on everything. Twitter, Instagram, all the same thing. W-E-W-A-N-T-E-B. We are here sitting. We just finished watching the TLC movie. What do you think? What do you think? Oh my goodness. First of all, I just want to say all three girls did a phenomenal job. I think I cried three times. I mean, honestly, it was not that I, I just expected, I don't know, it, I think it like superseded my expectations. Like I think that it was phenomenal. I think the casting was amazing. Lil Mama killed Left Eye. I mean, she was incredible. Kiki Palmer killed Chili, Drew Sidora, T-Boss. I mean, it, I don't think it could have been any better. Honestly, I really don't. And it was just really amazing and emotional for me because I think TLC has inspired everyone, first of all. And it was just incredible and amazing to watch. And I. Honestly, it took me back to when I was younger, and I remember the day that Left Eye passed. I was in New York, and in the malls, they were giving out um, Left Eyes at the mat counter, and I got one, and I just thought I was Left Eye in that moment. And like, honestly, it took me back, and it's actually a little emotional to talk about now for whatever reason. I don't know, but that was that was incredible. Good job, girls. <laughs> oh my goodness, I see the tears in your eyes. Oh my, what did it feel like that little mama was here? to witness it with you like so you know what that was even more surreal to me like just even looking at her and like looking over to my left and like wow you really just like nailed that like on the really money crying. like yeah I know I'm so emotional I'm so sensitive but no and TLC really inspired me and I just like I'm just really glad to have seen something that I feel like they did it justice first yeah. of all and I think that's the most important to me like just the integrity and like she was really into it she really became that character and seeing her talk about it afterwards and she was kind of emotional and really liked that everybody came out and supported her and I, I just thought that was really incredible when you see something like that like music that you know is really passionate a, a story like that I mean does it make you think about your dad at any Honestly, kind of way? maybe that's why I'm a little emotional right now and just all the issues that they they had um, left eye with her own it, demons and just different issues that she had within herself and also the passing of her father kind of hurting her a uh, uh, really hurting her I think that kind of touched me a little bit and then you know each one just kind of going through their own things I think that it definitely reminded me of little things in my own life personal issues and things with my father as well and I definitely think that's why I'm a little emotional but I think it was amazing I'm proud I'm excited <laughs> well you know switching gears to you cuz <laughs> Next Tuesday, I hear you're dropping some music, and it's not a rap. No, absolutely not. I don't even know how to rap. No, um, yes, I'm dropping my single. It's called Girl Crush. Uh, next Tuesday, October 29th, and it's produced by Sunny Digital, and I'm pretty sure if anybody's a hip-hop fan, you know who Sunny Digital is. He's probably made all of your favorite records in every club, jam, everything you can think of. So he did the record. It's huge. It's amazing. I definitely, I still did my little pop rock thing on it, but of course you got the sunny digital touch on it that trap and that hard record and and it's it's gonna be exciting I'm excited I don't know I don't I'm lost for words I just can't wait for it to come out and you're gonna you're gonna love it trust me <laughs> now where will we be able to cop that where will, how will we be able to get your song it will be on iTunes but I'm also going to I'll put it on YouTube and it, it'll be just floating around the internet just Google EB or hit me up on my Instagram and Twitter at we want EB and it'll be everywhere but girl crush Studio Q show, now you know.